Now we do have this heat and we talk about it all the time with how you need to stay hydrated when you're outside, take plenty of breaks, but another thing that you really should be doing is look before you lock in terms of your car. Make sure nobody is left in the back seat. Look how quickly our temperatures warm up just with these outside temperatures at 95 degrees. Within 10 minutes, it already feels like 114 degrees in your car. So joining me this morning, we have Trooper Gustavo Ramirez with the Kansas Highway Patrol. You may recognize him from the look before you lock TV spots. Trooper, good, Trooper Ramirez, good morning. Good morning, Becky. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for being here. So first off, I want to ask you, how many children are killed in hot cars each year? Well, 2018, according to NHTSA, which stands for the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, reported 53. And in 2019, that number was 52. And I know right now some viewers might be thinking, well, 52, we have much bigger problems in the world to worry about right now. But 53, 52 is 53 and 52 too many. I agree totally with that. Now, some people may question, you know, how a parent can forget their child in the car. So are these cases just mostly somebody just forgetting or what is happening here? I think, you know, parents, they just get caught up in, in their daily routine. You know, you jump into the quick trip real quick or to the Starbucks real, real quick. You forget that you have your child in the back seat. Uh, everyone's always in a hurry in the mornings, and especially newer parents who aren't necessarily used to having children in the back seat. It's very easy for them to forget uh, to be in a hurry and just forget to leave their child in the back seat of the car. Uh, and, and, and NHTSA has this really cool thing, uh, kind of a motto, park, look, and then lock, just to make sure you're not leaving anybody back there. Right, and you know, speaking as somebody who has really young children and who's just come off the baby years, you can be really sleep deprived and that does play a factor, I think, into um, how you go about your day. So uh, why is the Look Before You Lock campaign so important to the Kansas Highway Patrol? Absolutely, it, it, it's important because mainly, you know, these deaths are 100% preventable. Um, all it takes is a a couple of seconds for you to look back there making sure nobody's forgotten um, and then again just think of think of the the discomfort and the stress that you experience when you jump into your car after it's been sitting out on the parking lot uh, for a couple of minutes uh, now imagine that stress and that discomfort on a child on an adolescent on a baby I mean within minutes uh, them being locked inside of a hot car can could be deadly it really just does, like even just hearing about that really just makes you think about it. it, totally breaks your heart, even just imagining what those children are going through. So what tips do you have for parents and caregivers with young children? 100%, I mean, just going back to the, the NHTSA model, I mean, park, look back, Hi. and then I'm lock your car. Making sure that nobody's forgotten, to... make sure everybody's accounted for, and that's the best tip, that's the best advice we can give caregivers. Awesome. So what should somebody do if they spot a child or an animal alone in a car that's not running? We definitely encourage bystanders to become basically a source of interventions out there. If you see a child or an animal locked in or, or trapped inside a vehicle, we encourage you to help them get out of the car and provide first aid if you can. Definitely call 911 to respond to the scene to help address the situation as well. All right, great information. Thank you so much for being here today, Trooper Ramirez. Thank you for having me, Becky.